Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo. We are back in our campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Um, last time we had some Techtel Mechtel <laughs> to say it in German with um, with Darren. I I wanted to, I really don't know what to do in Dresden. Probably we should just make it and look for new stuff. Well, we'll take Dresden with us, Darren with us. I think Ember is also a good choice. We have to take Camellia because she's the only one who can, who can disarm traps. Um. Between these two, he's doing more damage, and I don't need a tank because I have my pig, and he's also doing a lot of damage. Could also take Rachel instead of him. He's also quite weak. Nenyo or Amber? Hmm. I think Nenyo much more fun, but I, I think Amber is a bit more resourceful, can heal. On the other hand, we have also Camellia who can also heal. Yeah, let's let's keep her away and take an angel with us. She has so many different nice spells. Let's see. Let's see. There are some places in the near vicinity we didn't uh, walk because there were still armies there. So we will try to get there now. Like here, the Temple of the Good Hunt. We went here. Because there was an army in the way, but now the army is gone. So. Let's just travel. First. Okay. <laughs> North or south? I think south is better. Yeah. South is nice. Let's enter the Temple of the Good Hunt. Whatever the Temple of the Good Hunt does, it's quite big on the map, so it must be important. I'll try to make the next few installments shorter than the last ones. Like 20 to 25 minutes instead of 30 to 40 minutes. When in doubt, save. Yeah, I'll do that. Although every time you enter an area, you save automatically, I think. Let's look. I, I wanted to see the spell book of Nenyo. Oh, she has only one spell in level 5. Tap energy for blah blah blah. blah. Ah, so you can do a lot of stuff. But it's only illusionary. Mm -hmm. We need more spell for you. Inventory. 
you can learn stuff like that. What's level? What is level four? Level two, I don't need that. Wave of the Green Sheet, level nine. And it's necromancy, so you can't do it anyway. A tsunami also level nine. And Let's copy the Emperor's Bell Book. Nah, it's not here. More summons, and I don't want summonings. Summoning, summoning. Stinking Cloud, it's also Conjuration. Don't know. Yeah, let's add it here. He's up to action stuff. I like these as scrolls better than as um, no, not more protection stuff. What's the foresight? Um, also level nine. Yeah, I, we have more level nine spells than, yeah, whatever. Why don't we have any level five spells? Hurricane Breaking. Probably. Is it per no, no, it's personal, so we don't need it. Uh, it's a stupid spell. Wand of Heal. Oh, interesting. Let's put the Wand of Heal. Okay, um, yeah, let's move. Let's see what we find here. Is it a big map? Well, at least big and small. I'll go ahead. Yeah, do that. The pig is going ahead. Is you see? There's a temple. Yay. It's that's probably a dungeon. Ooh. Loot. Let's take it. I forgot to sell all the stuff. Uh, I'm so stupid. Let's enter the. Let's enter the cave. Why not? Is it a dungeon or is it not? Hmm, looks like a dungeon. Ah, on the other hand, no, probably it's not a dungeon. There's a person who is not truthful or who broke some things. The young cleric of Erasto greets you with a shy smile. What an honor it is to see you again, Commander. I Welcome to the Temple of Delamar and the Blessed. As the Temple's Prior, I offer my greetings. At word Prior, the priest's face flushes pink. Remind me, who are you? <laughs> Thank you that I can ask this because I don't know him. They call me Cuado the Shepherd Boy. Well, that's what they used to call me, but it's not very fitting for a priest, is it? Eric lapses into confused silence for a few moments. I come from a village near Last Hall. I've always been drawn to Aristil, even as a child. Hmm, but there is something in your past that's that's a bit not okay. A cleric by the name of Jord. Jord? Ah, I know him. Guy uh, we met in Kingmaker. 
once passed through our village, a kind old man. He looked me in the eye, a silly little kid, and he said, I see you're going to serve Erethel, just like myself. And so I did. When I heard about your crusade, I set out to join it, just like my heart was telling me to do. At first I served as a novice under the venerable Ratimus. But now he's gone, and I've been left on my own. Ratimus and I marched on Dresden with your forces. We fought in your host. Ah, was them these the two priests I met in the inn first? And he was the one who's not talking. And then, when the demons were driven out, I came here. This temple is centuries old. Aristotle's worshippers would have come here in their hundreds in the past. But even now, we get the old pilgrim wandering in. Uh, the odd. Uh, that's why I wanted to take over this temple. Someone ought to take care of this sacred place. I want to know more about this temple and everything can I get to it. Where to begin? This temple is dedicated to Delamere. Oh, I mean, of course, it is a temple of Aristotle, but Delamere was the prior of the of this temple. I mean, no, I'm the prior of this temple, and she is like its blessed mother superior, its patroness. Uh, what is it like to be a prior? Oh, it's terrifying. I live here alone, you see. People travel a great distance to come here, but I have been given an important task here in the world wound. These temples are needed more than ever, so that people don't lose their faith. But that doesn't stop my leg shaking in terror. When I think of my teacher Ratimus rest his soul, I just feel like running away. What happened to Ratimus? I swear I would have run long ago. But one thing keeps me here. Aristil would not have granted me these spells for no reason. I cannot let him down. Or the people, I can't let them down either. You say you're a coward, but you're in no hurry to leave this place. Even though nobody's keeping you here, I know from experience how scary it is to be alone surrounded by strangers. You're not as weak as you think you are. You're stronger than most. Um, good, evil, either way. This place frightens you, but you're still here. You should be proud of yourself. You're a pathetic child. You should have stayed home and grown turnips. The crusade is no place for you. Don't worry. We will destroy the demons every night. Okay. Tell me about Delamere. She lived in these parts back when Sarkoris was still standing. She was a priestess of Aristil, and the Kelids deeply respected her on her hard nature and her unshakable faith. Aristil blessed her with various wonders, and the common folk knew that she would stand up for them. Delamere did not like city life. He said cities encouraged wild deeds and corruption of the soul. He said that people ought to live in small clans where everyone knows everyone, where everyone is kin, and where every person has a duty to the rest. You can't hide your sins in a village. In a village, everyone knows what kind of person you are. Yeah. But there is no um, no prospect, no, no um, advancement, no science in small groups. She had a revelation and she would travel around the villages and see how many people lived there. Yeah, yeah, whatever. She was a hermit. She had an edge to her. She single-handedly chased off whole bands of marauders that harassed villagers. Yeah. And after she died, this temple was built in her honor in the place where Aristotle gifted her with his relics. They say it was here that a white stag emerged from the forest and spoke to her in a human voice, telling, that her, telling her that she shouldn't hunt it because it was the will of her lord. That a mare tracked the stag for three days and three nights through the forests, and then she ran it to ground. She made its antler into a bow 
and its hide into armor and that bow never misses. Wait, what? That she should hunt it <laughs> and not should not hunt it. <laughs> I was just a bit um, irritated. <laughs> the element blast was wise. Uh, did she really drive people out of the villages? That's ridiculous. Not ridiculous. It might sound strange, but Eris still blessed that I'm alone, and he gave her wisdom and power. Yeah. I want to know more about Aristil's teaching. No, I don't want, because I, I played Kingmaker and Jod ran on about him all the time. Aerist is an old god back from the times when there were no such things as pounds. Yeah, yeah. Stag and hunter. He's the god of hunt. Everything is clear. Is it? <laughs> Have you seen anything suspicious in the area? No, everything's quite you know, he's he's stuttering, so he's probably he's probably hiding something. There's nothing going on in this temple, for sure. Pilgrims have said there's a dragon flying around this area, snatching up travels and others say that's just rumor. Things are quite here in my temple, quiet in my temple. Have you heard about my new powers? They, they are a true blessing to be, uh, Cleric refuses to look you into, in the eye, to be able to read, yeah, hmm? lying, lying bastard, read the truth of human souls. It is truly incredible, but it must be a burden for you, Commander, seeing only the worst in people. How can that be any better than lying to oneself and looking at everything through rose-tinted glass? You can only be seeing half of the full picture. Yeah, you want to... We can't confront him with his spins. That's interesting. And isn't it lonely, standing alone at the summit, looking down on everyone? How can you love someone, even as a friend, if you only see wrongdoers everywhere you look? In your shoes, I would probably have refused such a gift. If I could, I was lucky that Aristotle willed me to become a priest. I can forgive, it my, forgive if my heart chooses to, but you... Do you have the right to forgive a guilty person? If you can no longer feel pity or compassion, that is horrific. Do we need the service of a cleric? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, here yeah, we can sell all the we don't need. Good. Because we don't need this one. I mean, it's nice, but who's fighting with a short spear? We didn't have a lot of stuff anyway, so... Yeah, let's sell all these books. And when we need the books... In this... Ever changing what memory is the only constant remember me D. Oh Darren, thank you. Do we need this D? Hmm, probably. What's that? Devil's contract, yeah. <laughs> Let's sell him the devil's contract. That's nice. <laughs> uh what's this? Why why do we why why is there a difference between no why is there a difference between these that we use to cook and these that we probably also need to cook
That's not a coffee cup. I'm pretty sure about that. That's not an apple box. Yeah, there there is no information that we needed for something. Let's sell it. Bag of holding, we need that. Lockpick, we also need that. Hey, it's the stag. We found something. It appears there is a caref carefully concealed doorway in this place. The young cleric lets out the loud scream and addresses you in a quavering voice. I, I beg you, don't touch that door. I discovered a concealed door in the temple. Where does it lead? Ah. Kiado's face grows, goes gray and he falters and stutters over his words. But the door... Ah, the door. It leads into the cellar. There's nothing interesting behind that door. Okay, we can't do this. I see you have violated the laws of this world. It is time to confess. Or we could intimidate him. Darren has plus 21. We could do it good or evil. You're a terrible liar. Speak the truth before I lose my temper. You are hiding some terrible secret. Yeah. Well, awful. Take it easy. This is your temple. I will respect your secret. Nah. Okay, let's do the, the evil thing. Because, I mean, it's intimidation either way. And... um. Next time we'll do the good thing. <laughs> it's it's all Sanedra. Sanedra is one of the senior cultists of Baphomet in their stronghold known as the Ivory Sanctum. He's a witch. She came here one night, threatened to torture me, and demanded that I let her into the crypt. Said that her friends would be coming here sometimes, and then she placed a curse on me if I allow anyone other than initiated servants of Baphomet into the crypt. Without her permission, a brood of rats will appear in my stomach and they will gnaw me from inside, from the inside out. Hmm. I think she just lied to you. But I want to live. I'm no warrior. I'm a humble shepherd and I never said a word to anyone. They go there in and do things they whisper i'm afraid to go in and you can't go in there's no one in there no now anyway sanedra hasn't been here for many days and air is still willing she won't come again the cursed witch camellia sighs in exasperation what do you expect from a peasant this is an in a peasant's nature to obey those who are stronger. Okay. The cleric resistance is hanging by a thread. His lips are trembling and his voice drops to a whisper. I have the key, but what right did do you have to okay we we have done the evil thing last time but this time so this time we have to do the good thing we can't do these two trickster seems nice i should have taken the trickster he's chaotic neutral it's better than the lawful neutral of the aeon probably uh you betrayed your flock if you have even an ounce of conscience left, 
you'll give me the key. Thank you. Don't don't go in there. I know the way. And how do we get in there? <laughs> we I mean we have the key now. So why can't we enter it? Hmm. Ah, we have to open this first to enter it. I don't think that you were cursed, my dear Kiado. On the other hand, let's see if you are. Let's collect everything first. A trap. It's a trap. Really? Wrong direction. You. Disarm the trap. Yay, 60 points of experience of loot. Collect. Pick it up. This is the reason why we took you with us, Camellia. Yes, I appreciate this. Spearman 367, Finian, Dismar, Test Report 1. Master, the first stage of the testing process was a Specimen 367 Finian Bisma turned into a sword on command. The sword pro possesses sufficient sharpness and the ability to adjust the wielder's strike. He added a crusader with a single blow. A clean cut, the blade is undamaged. Additional notes, the specimen makes unwanted noises resembling weeping, a reaction to threat. Ooh. Do we have to read it to have the information? That's interesting. There's a door as well. Let's move to the side then. Hmm. Come on, Camellia. Make your move. It's loot, yay. What's the bone of the fist? Glitter dust. Another elven note, it's a page from a notebook. Ah, this is the thing that we look for the um 
for the storyteller. More loot. And the belt of incredible dexterity. Yes. Camellia. Good, good girl. Oh. Well, first of all, we'll take this. And you get this. Because you're fighting with the party anyway. Well done, Camellia. Well done. Okay, that's that. <gasps> he left for me. Let's enter this and see if he's eaten by rats from the inside. I don't think so. But we'll see it soon enough. The bloody remains of a person lie out in plain view. There are marks of the bones left by gnawing teeth. Some of them human. Okay. Nice persons. That's the symbol of Baphomet, I believe. Profane depictions of a bull head. Drawn in blood. Glory to Baphomet, Lord of the Ivory Labyrinth, unbridled consort of Hamashtu, father of the horned brood. Well, and I took too long again. <laughs> 30 minutes. Okay. Um, my dear friends, we found a temple of Baphomet inside the temple of Aristil. Next time, we will look at that more exactly. Okay, until then, bye.